Hi guys, how are you doing? I uh, just wanted to do a video on my new tool tote I bought. Uh, this is the DeWalt uh, Tough System DS280, and it's a it's nearly 22 inches long uh, by 12 inches uh, by nearly 13 inches wide. So it's a big old tool tote. Um, I used to have um, this here. This, uh, I actually get away straight in place. I used to have this arm egg tool tote here, uh, but it was starting to, you know, as you can see, it's starting to wobble about, and break a little bit, um, because my install bag is, it's got a lot of tools in it, and, excuse me, and it's quite heavy. So this thing, I'll say one thing about it, it is pretty solid. Um, it's all solid plastic. Um, it's built with a tough system, so you can clip other things to it if you wish to. Nothing you'd ever want to, because this thing is seriously heavy. Um, and that's the first disadvantage I'm going to say to this tool tote really, it's, 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 it's a heavy beast, okay, um, if I'm just carrying this like from the van to the store, um, or wherever I'm working, I'm just carrying it across somewhere, I'll probably just pick it up and carry it, um, you know, with one hand it's, it's pretty heavy, to be fair, um, I won't tell you how heavy, but it's pretty heavy. Um, if I'm taking any distance, I'm just going to stick this to my little folding sack truck and just wheel it around. Um, but the thing that it's got, it's got a lot of space and it's solid. I mean, I've got my climb bag, which I just carry around for most jobs, for 90% of my jobs. And that's nice and light. I can use that easily. And I've got this for the majority of my tools. Now, I've had to make... Now, when you get it, I will say it is just a box. It's just a plastic open box. Um, it comes with this really solid metal handle on it. So you can see it's very strong. Uh, it's all riveted nicely. And each side here, you've got two lift-up handles to be able to lift it up from the side. And actually, when you're lifting it out of the van, it's a lot, lot easier on that. Um, what it's lacking completely is a strap. You don't get a strap to carry it at all. Um, and in order to make it useful, I've had to kind of modify it a bit. So the good thing about it is it's just plastic, so you can just bang some screws into it and modify it. And then you can just chop the screws the other end with the cutters. So it's easy. Now, one thing you see I've put here, um, when you buy Weir screwdrivers, you get um, a little screwdriver holder with it. So I've just attached that to the side um, of the tool tote. So I've got a little screwdriver in there, and I've just cut two pieces of wood. And you've got these sort of like little, you've got some little sliding areas down there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll just see if you can, I don't know if you can just about see down there. There's a sort of like a little sliding area down there. So I've just put some pieces of wood in here to actually, you know, separate some things off. I bet if you just bunged everything in you, you'd probably get more in you. But I, I don't like having this so disorganized like that. So I don't really like that. So I've modified it to separate it off. So that way I can keep my tools here, my screwdrivers here, and I can just line up all my cutters um, in a row along there. So that keeps it nice in here. I can carry my impact driver in here if I want. Um, I've made these sort of, um, I've made these out of like an old sort of cardboard pipe. Um, just some holders here, there's three of them. Um, just to just to hold my tools in, just so I can make it a bit organised, and then again you you sort of limit the the amount of space you've got for stuff to move around. So my impact driver fits in there, um, and then over here I've got a, another little section here for you know I keep things like my my meters in here, my fish tape, um, I've got my uh, cable tie tie puller, uh, little crimps, um, you know just a, a boat level, things like that in here, and then in here you know I got a I got a bag of drill bits and everything like that. So I've modified it in that way. Also on the front here, I've put a bar going across the front here, and then this little gap here, you got down there, just is perfect really for um, for a tape measure, and to be fair, that's the best tape measure clip I've seen on any tool bag. That really does work well, that ain't coming off there. So it's quite hard to take off. You've got to have a knack to taking that off. Once you've learned that, it's great because it really stays on there strong. Um, also, what I've put on here, um, I've just bolted that through, is a little magnet. So, um, so I'm not going to use a coin because that's not magnetic, but, you know, anything, any of the screws I'm using or whatever, I can just stick them on there, just like that. Uh, it's a reasonably strong magnet on there, so it holds like that on there, okay, but it'll hold screws pretty easily. But yeah, it is just a, a good solid plastic, good solid construction, and I'm not worried it's going to fall apart on me. I say its disadvantage is it is heavy. Um, it's a very heavy tool bag, but it keeps everything I want in there. 
and you know it's good for carrying short distances and like i say i've got a little trolley if i need to carry it any further so yeah quite pleased with it really um you know if i want to add little bits on the side i'm thinking one day um i might one day add like a sort of a, a sort of um plastic sort of holder there and perhaps for all my sort of all my cutters and stuff along there um i'm not entirely sure what this is for um i mean i was wondering if you could like hang a drill on there but you really can't and um, it'll just fall off um, so i'm really not sure what that's for if i'm honest um yeah um it's higher at the back than it is at the front so you got that sort of solid thing it says some kind of lock on it i'm not sure what the lock's for it maybe is to work in conjunction with other sort of tough systems i don't know but i think it's, 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 it's a pretty solid thing. I mean, if you haven't got too many tools in it, this will fold down as well to allow you some access to other stuff. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, if I wanted to carry this, just, you know, if I'm wheeling it around, I just want to bung my drill on top, I can, you know. So, you know, I can, I can use it for that. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it was about £35, so it wasn't an expensive thing. Um, it wouldn't have been ideal for me if I hadn't modified it, but like I said, there were a few mods, which is easy to do on this, and it's reasonably inexpensive, so you don't have to cry about damaging it, I suppose. Um, and it doesn't really affect it structurally. Um, you can you can turn it into a pretty decent case. Um, might I say, just a couple of cheap pieces, but a bit of board in there, reasonably light. They'll slide in and out as well if you ever want to change it, but otherwise they'll just sit in there nice and solid, keep everything separate. And yeah, so that's that's it really. So that's the DeWalt Test System DS280 uh, available tool station, uh, which is where I got mine from. So I'll give them a shout out. I've always found tool station pretty handy. Um, really good um, with regards to the customer service. You know, they always take things back where any quibbles and things like that. And I've always found them to be uh, really good in that way. So yeah, this is the uh, DeWalt Test System. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you do. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.